why am I doing this? Like I'm an evil villain that has like nefarious plans for this yarn. I'm just gonna make some cute plushies. Hello and welcome to the Faded Wildflower Crochet. My name is Rachel and in today's video, I am getting over a cold. So if I sound a little sniffly and if my eyes are watering, just ignore that, pretend it's not happening. But really today we are going to be taking somebody's abandoned, thrifted project and turning it into something new. So if that sounds like fun, then keep watching. So back when I filmed this video, I thrifted a whole package of yarn for only $5. And part of what was in that package was an unfinished project. So as you can see, I think they were trying to make a blanket, but they abandoned it and they left both the unfinished project as well as the rest of the skein of yarn. So I thought in today's video, we would turn this into a lovey. It's practically begging to become a lovey, right? So what I already did was wash this and I took the rest of the yarn. It was a little bit tangly, but I just wound it up with my yarn winder so we could be ready to do this project today. So I think what I'm going to do with this yarn is to turn it into a elephant lovey. I'm not sure what it is about the pinks and the blues, but it's, it's giving elephant for some reason. And I have a family member who is pregnant and is going to be having a baby in September. So I'm already compiling some crocheted projects and I think this will be the perfect addition to that. She also loves thrifting and will appreciate the fact that this came from a thrifted piece. I think she'll think that's amazing. Okay, so th obviously the first thing we need to do to turn this into a lovey is to take out a few rows because it is a bit too long to be a lovey. So that is the first step, but take a look at this yarn. Isn't it so pretty? I feel like the camera is not even really doing it justice for how like pretty this dye is. It almost looks like, like it reminds me of watercolor. Do you see what I'm saying? And whoever made this did an amazing job. Like the, these, what are these called? Shell stitches? They look beautiful. Like they did, they did an amazing job. So I am going to frog a couple rows. I feel like this is like one of the few circumstances where frogging is actually going to be like quite satisfying. So I'm going to do that and then we'll get started on the crocheting. Here is where I'm at. I think this is a pretty nice size. And if you can see right here, I just finished it off and it's already got this like beautiful scalloped edge. Isn't that nice? So we don't have to do anything for the edges. Now this looks so lovely and nice, right? Now look at this. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at all this yarn and it's kind of a tangled mess right now. I need to make sure I find the end. So I am just going to have to run this through my yarn winder. I didn't realize how much of this I was going to have to take out and how much more yarn I was going to have. So I feel like I could not only make a levy, but I could also make a little matching stuffed animal. I don't know if I'll get to that in this video, but yeah, look at all this yarn I have. This is a tangled mess. So I am going to deal with that later. I do already have some yarn that is already wound up. So I'm going to just use this for today. And I'm not using a pattern or anything like that to make our elephant today. I'm kind of just going for it. So let's get started.
Okay, our elephant levy is done. I'm really happy with how it turned out. I really think that this was probably the easiest and most inexpensive <laughs> baby shower gift I've ever made. But really, most of it was done for me, which is amazing. And like I said, whoever crocheted this before did an amazing job. I got pretty lucky because what they had already made was already in a square. And it already has these like beautiful scalloped edges. So it just was so easy just to take out a few rows. As you saw in my footage, I did end up taking out a few rows because it was just a little bit too heavy. And I was like, this is supposed to be for a baby. Like it doesn't need to be heavy. So, and I did look it up and most levies are 12 by 12 inch squares. So that is what this ended up being. And so I really just think that this was the perfect project to make with what I was given. So I am really happy. I think it's so cute. I did actually mean to embroider the eyes the other way so that they would look like sleepy eyes, but I did end up embroidering them this way so they look like happy eyes. But I think that's really cute and I am happy that I'm getting a new niece slash nephew. So that's really exciting. So you'll have to let me know, did you find some inspiration from today's project? I know it's like pretty simple and really not too complicated to do, but sometimes those can be like the most inspiring projects. Like, oh, I could go to the thrift store, unravel a blanket and turn it into something that can be passed on to the next generation. Like how cool is it to think that you could go to a thrift store and thrift a blanket that was made by somebody's grandma and to come home, unravel it, and turn it into something for somebody's baby like that's passing things on to the next generation and so that that discarded item can live on i think that that's really amazing i'm also really excited because i have way more yarn left over from this project than i thought i would i did think about making just a matching plushie something that would match this levy but I think I have some other plans in mind for it. I am like doing this like I'm an evil villain that has like nefarious plans for this yarn. I'm just gonna make some cute plushies, but I am really excited about it. If you did like today's video, be sure to hit the like button. You can subscribe and stick around. You can comment below and let me know what kind of videos you wanna see next. You can follow me on all my social media. It's the Beta Wildflower everywhere. And again, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.